Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh. Today we shall be talking about a condition that is not very common in this environment, probably because not everyone recognizes it enough for it for the patient to be taken to the hospital. But nonetheless, it does occur, and I think that we need to know about it. Anorexia nervosa is a disease usually found in young females. They have a distorted sense of body image. They want to look like Miss World. They believe that Miss World must be the best form that one should have. Um, and that is why this lady, this first uh, Miss World, has won this prize. They also want people to look at them like that. So what do they do? They do not take their meals regularly. And when they do, they go on a binge. They eat and eat. And then after that, you, they end up trying to um, bring up what they've taken. How does this come to be? Like I said, it's a distorted um, form of, of view of themselves. They do, they do not feel loved in their current position. Um, even when they're slim, they still feel, oh, they are overweight and they still want to lose some weight. These are the kind of girls who, although they cook for others, they would never eat what they've cooked. And occasionally when an anyone is onto their case, they may decide, okay, I want to eat. But when they eat, half of the food ends up in the toilet because they're going to induce vomiting. And in the process, they get ill even the more. It's a psychological thing, you would say. Um, most, mo most of these girls, they do excessive excessively rigorous exercises, they take long walks, they, they just want to do everything for them to be slim. But in the event, they lose, um, the, the monthly periods do not come up, they become amenorrheic because um, you need a particular weight for you to remain, to have your menses regularly. So they lose this, they become extremely ill, and um, although we call the disease anorexia, You'll, you'll find that they actually have a good appetite because anorexia means a loss in appetite, but they have a good appetite. It's only that the way they've translated the appetite, they eat and then it ends up in the kitchen or in the, in the bath. So what do we do for these young girls? We need to let them know that we love them just as they are. We need to reassure them. We need to ensure that they actually eat and they eat with the family and they keep the food down. You need to actually watch them because um, while they're having the anorexia, it also tilts them to another disease that we call bulimia. This is when they overeat, they go into a binge and eat, and then they go to the toilet and make sure everything comes out. Some even go as far as to take drugs to ensure that this food comes down. Some take um, diuretics to ensure that they urinate as much as possible so that they lose whatever drink they've taken. It's actually a very serious thing for a young girl to go through. Um, these girls also, they, they, uh, like I said, they may cook for you. They, they, they know the best um, diets for you to be on. They will tell you, oh, mommy, let me make um, th this time dinner for you. Let me do this for you. But in the process, they do not eat. So we need to watch them. Please let us understand that the psychiatrists in the hospitals are not only for those people that we call mental or crazy. They also are needed for these young girls. Apart from reassuring them at home, ensuring that we help them to eat and they regain the normal way that they should have, the psychiatrists would also need to come in to treat them properly and also to treat the entire family because it might be something within the family. It could be the mother that is always um, talking to the girl about her weight. It could be the father, it could be brother. So it's a family thing and the psychiatrists are in the best position to treat this condition. Until I come your way again another time, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuhu.